on Aiden Earshot Investigation. Sanctuary bust. Suncoast Seabird Sanctuary owner Ralph Heath is in trouble again. For the second time in two years, Heath faces charges of violating state wildlife laws. Now this time he's in trouble for a private wildlife collection that he keeps locked inside a windowless warehouse in Largo. State wildlife agents hauled out dozens of captive animals while we watched. And Ada, on your side, investigator Mark Douglas has an exclusive report tonight on this sanctuary bus. Well, Stacy and Keith, Ralph Heath is still on probation from the last time that state agents caught him mistreating wildlife. Now it appears he's at it again. A state fish and wildlife officer arrived at the Suncoast Seabird Sanctuary bright and early to meet with Ralph Heath, and so did we. No interviews, Chief. Heath later drove to a windowless warehouse on Starkey Road. That's where he keeps his own private zoo of turtles, pigeons, gulls, ducks, and chickens all behind locked doors. And that's where wildlife officers cited Heath for failing to have state permits for two kinds of protected turtles and keeping them in unsanitary conditions. It's hard to describe. I mean, you can see fecal material on my pants. Wildlife rehabber Vernon Yates showed up to haul away 43 illegal, injured, and poorly kept turtles. FWC officers wore masks to ward off the stench of animal feces inside the warehouse. It's really hard to describe unless you've been around it. I know that you can probably smell the stench off of me right now. They spent hours rounding up the turtles, placing them in large plastic tubs, and removing them from the warehouse while Ralph Heath watched. Hey, Ralph, what's going on here? Ralph, where are they taking your turtles? Later, Heath appeared at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Probation Office. That's because he's still on probation for a number of animal neglect violations he committed just two years ago. What would you tell all the people that trust you to take care of animals and find out you're keeping these animals in these kind of conditions? What do you want to tell the public about what they're going to see tonight? Well, we're still waiting for a final tally of the misdemeanor charges associated with today's seizure of those turtles by Fish and Wildlife officers. The SPCA may also get involved on behalf of the ducks, the chickens, the pigeons, and all the other animals in that warehouse left behind. And Heath is also in trouble for violating his probation, which is why he was called there this afternoon in the wake of all of this, Keith. So I'm guessing at this point his wildlife license is in jeopardy. No question about it. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Well,